be a Reminds number me of, of your things. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Corrections, it's absorbent. We were, we were tracking in the same <laughs> general vicinity. I'm well, Rick. I mean, we've all yeah, uh, you've all heard that sound before. We've all done fellatio. <laughs> uh, wait, that's something different, right? <laughs> well, that's oh, that's kind of rough fellatio uh, there, pal. Anyway, <laughs> uh, today we're doing a uh, uh, something. Um, I know we're finally gonna get to naked volleyball with Amitabh Bachchan. So the name. No. Uh, Half naked billiards with Say Om Puri. Rahul Deshpande. We know Rahul Deshpande. From? Um, uh, the Bengali movie? No. Oh. No? The Marathi film we just watched. Oh, that's what it's from. Yeah. Uh, so he was the third Got one that went so much. The, well, f he was um, uh, obviously there was Shankar, then there was our, our, our Dost um, Mahesh. Mahesh. Uh, Kale. Right. We, thank sorry, you. Sorry. You know, we say it. Dumb, dumb, yeah, uh, Kale. He was the third one that we said we, we don't know who it is. And right. so we got and uh, right. chastised for it uh, for not knowing his name yeah. and never reacting to any of his stuff. Right. But this is Zakir Hussain and him in a live concert. Wonderful. So read this. Rahul Bishpande is a very, and forgive me if I'm mispronouncing, that is a very well known Hindustan classical singer in the same tier as Mahesh Kale, pronounced Kale. Rahul and Mahesh are really good friends. Rahul cool. was the playback singer. By the way, thanks, uh, shout out uh, to uh, everyone. To everybody, but especially for Mahesh Kale, he liked our review of the movie. He's yes. always liking the things we do. Yes. Uh, Rahul was the playback singer for the antagonist. Yes. And in the Marathi movie that we saw, and it was adapted from a 1960s Marathi musical. Yes, so many of you stupid babies sent messages about, hey, Did you see the, the it was clip a play. Of Mahesh in the play? No. I, I tweeted it. it. No. It was him. You, you tweeted a clip of the thing? Well, I somebody, missed that. Somebody showed me the clip. And if you sent it to me, I'm sorry I haven't seen it yet. Uh, somebody sent me the clip, and it's him doing the, ah, uh, 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 but live on stage. Oh, wow. Um, so maybe we could get a clip of that and react to it. That'd be awesome. So anyway, uh, it's adapted from a, a play in which Rahul's grandfather, the legendary Pandit Vasant Rao Deshpande, played the role of the antagonist. Cool. The musical play was later revived in 2010 in which Rahul uh, followed his grandpa's footsteps to play the antagonist. That's cool. So it's him and Zakir Hussain playing uh, together. Yes. Uh, so that is awesome because, you know, Zakir, sir, <laughs> is our dost. Uh, still amazes me that that was our first movie. <laughs> right we, out the gate. We, we realized that the, like, the... I don't want to say severity or like the um, importance of the man, but like until like you you really know who this man is and what he means to music, that's insane. Yeah, that it was, was like our first. Well, remember, we were at like what five hundred thousand, maybe. Yeah, no, the less, less than, than that, that, like three hundred. Yeah, I think we had. I don't even know if we had hit three hundred yet. We were really low in terms of wow. our progression because it was so early. And I remember we called. I called um, uh, Pedro. Yeah. And my friend Pedro Eustache, who's a world-renowned flautist and does, does motion pictures, worked with John Williams and Hans Zimmer, and I asked if he'd work with him, and he said no, but everybody knows Eustache. Yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> and so now uh, Rahul is who we're really being introduced to in terms of his live performances. Yeah. So here we go. Loved his voice in the... In the oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. 
dancing and echoing a little bit. like so that's something that you cannot fake pretend it's evident it's a lifetime of dedication that's been working on that so it would be comparable to like being at a pickup game of basketball at like uh, North Hollywood High School playing with some guys and then walking up you see uh, LeBron James and um, well, it, he would, he's, he's older now, but it was Michael Jordan, let's say, right? Mm -hmm. And they're coming up and they wanna, they wanna play and a few other guys are, are coming up. The minute you see them, I'm like, here's the ball, I'm gonna sit and watch. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even gonna pretend to think I could even begin to be on the same court as you for a millisecond of my life. Oh yeah. You're coming to play, I'm gonna sit down and watch someone who's dedicated their life and has a gift from God because you cannot make that up. No. That's what that is. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Unbelievable. And he has such... It feels like he has a third lung. It really... The, Rahul, the third, the, the, the third lung wonder. And he's, he's got... And I'm learning this about classical singing. It's comparable to opera in the fact that it's unforgiving in terms of your perfection. Yeah. So that there can be no strain in the voice. And there can be no frailty in the voice. And that was just pure strength, stamina... I don't even know what it's called when he does things faster than I could even do. Uh, yeah, how we heard him in the film, obviously, because it was, it, was, it was, like we said, if you haven't seen a review of that, please go watch that. Um, but it's, it, it was absolutely incredible because it was, it literally felt like watching two masters of their craft. And you are. And you are, essentially, you are. You're hearing them at least, um, in terms of their, their, their playback <laughs> singing. Which would have been incredible to see them in the play. I know. Then to see actually that on stage. Live show. That's just what we. These are the things. Like I'll finish and I'll give Indrani a call most times. She's still away, and she'll say, "So how, how was how was work today? How was how was filming? How was what was today?" And I'll I'll. This is one of those where I'll say, "We had some elevative artistry today. Mm -hmm. We had some stuff that was just the the meat that we want to dig into that has that made us fall in love with India." At, from the get-go was because people have asked why do you react to Indian stuff it's like well because we wouldn't if it wasn't great yeah we would be doing something else but it has never ceased to amaze us yeah and case in point yeah it's not just reacting to stuff we, we no want to, we, we want to learn as much as possible it's is it's just a relationship I want to know you better I want to know these artists better because I appreciate knowing and listening to and watching great art and that's Corbin and I's lifeblood, man, especially when it comes to acting. Yeah. But we, like, frickin' will fight to see artists be their best and to let the best of the best be celebrated. That's why we yeah. get so pissed off during the Oscars when the best of the best is ignored or we have differing opinions and, like, no, you're missing it. This is the best of the best. And that's, that's what we've loved so much about everything that we've seen in the past two and a half years obviously, is it's the best of the best. And obviously these two are the, the best of the best. Personify per the, being the best of the best. Of exactly. I, obviously Ustaji, uh, which is once again, in, uh, that we were able to not only meet him, interview him, and it was our first interview. I would love to be able to meet him again uh, and talk to him again uh, at some point in our life uh, because I think I'd be <laughs> Rahul obviously would be uh, incredible as well because they're both so incredibly talented. That was amazing. Um, please let us know more from Rahul. Yes. Uh, and of course, our, our, our dost, uh, 
Usagi Zakir Hussein. And I don't know if I'm supposed to give, once again, I, I don't know the, I only know that you're supposed to call Zakir Hussein Usagi. Usagi, And right. I don't know where else that applies. But right. I'm assuming if you're a legend at what you do, you're probably Ustaji as well. It just might be another name for it. Yeah. So uh, let us know more from both of these Ustajis uh, down below. Josh!